Well, g'day there traders and friends right around the world. Thank you so much for joining me on this Tuesday afternoon market recap as we break down and analyze the three US markets followed by some individual stock selection. Before we get into the analysis itself, I just want to explain to you how I'm personally positioning myself given what on earth is going on, the way in which the markets are moving at these all-time highs on the various charts. At the moment, you can see that we're really struggling to gain any type of trend movement. We've been establishing essentially lower highs since late February, early March. We're struggling to continue the bullish move. At the moment, it really looks as if we're range bound. It looks as if the market in and of itself is directionless. It is lifeless and it continues to throw off whipsaws either to the upside when it looks as if we're starting to gain traction. It's as though we sort of move into these resistance levels and the market click quickly, pardon me, gets rejected. And also when we move down into support levels, the market continues to hold even on the verge of breaking down various times over and over again. And it seems to bounce higher, albeit short term before it rolls over once again. You can see most recently that when we get these minor move uh, minor movements to the downside and then to the upside they're actually becoming less and less so so the actual movement itself is less abrupt it struggles more and more and the conviction behind the move it just continues to lessen and lessen breaking this down for you and analyzing and sort of coming full circle and, and at least sharing with you my position on the overall market is that I am 100% neutral at this location. I can make the argument and I have made the argument for the downside trade or for the bearish move. I've also made the, the argument to a lesser degree uh, to the upside, the bullish move, if in fact the markets want to break out out of this short-term consolidation. What I will say, if there's anything to take out of this Tuesday afternoon market recap is this part which I'm about to share with you right now. If you do not feel comfortable whatsoever, uh, on a particular trade, if you're not comfortable in the overall market structure, i.e. that you do not have a clear indication of which way this market is moving. And I'd be very, very surprised if anyone can sit here with great conviction and in good conscience and say, look, this is the direction which the market is going to move. I'd strongly suggest that you sit this market out, you leave the market, do its thing, let it whipsaw other traders to death, but then get in once the market has told you or has given you a clear indication of which direction it wants to move. What I mean by that is wait for the market to either break out above these all time highs to get above this danger zone or in fact to get below levels we spoke about in the pro analysis class over the weekend to look at those levels on the ETFs, the diamonds, the Qs, uh, the SPYs and place those sort of trades only when the market confirms. Obviously, there was a big bullish gap on Monday's trading session that was largely due to the China news, which came out after the pro recording. That is fine. You can see on Friday again, as soon as the market seems to gather bearish uh, traction, we move in the opposite direction. On Monday, when we seem to be gathering bullish uh, traction again, we see the sell-off come in during Tuesday's trading session. The, the process or the pattern is repeating over and over again, and it just continues to really lull traders into a, a false sense of security. Let the market be. We're obviously in earnings season. We have Amazon, we have Boeing Airlines, we have Caterpillar, Facebook and Google. So let me do Facebook and Google Caterpillar. These are the stocks which are reporting further into this week. The biggest days for reportings or earnings announcements will be on Wednesday after market close and also Thursday after market close. Let's just see how these stocks move post earnings. Let's see if there's any good gap trades which develop. And outside of these gap trades and outside of the stocks which we've covered, let me just remove the annotations and have a quick look at them. I'd really encourage you to sit this market out because there's no reason whatsoever to be looking for trades when they're not really giving you great actual trade entries, trade exits, or stops. If there's not a good risk and reward trade setup or the trade setup itself is inherently flawed, simply don't take the trade and don't feel stressed or don't feel compelled to actually trade these markets given what on earth they are doing. It's smarter to sit this out and just to wait for a better time to actually enter into the market. We've all, uh, pardon me, we've also referenced stocks such as Goldman Sachs, which did report last week. Now, this is still looking quite bearish. You can see the past two candlesticks in the face of a somewhat bullish market on Monday. We simply filled the gap and we're starting to fail again. So that Goldman Sachs trade is definitely still on the table. Outside of that, it's almost getting too late for the Apple trade, which we spoke about in that pro analysis recording. Uh, we do have earnings coming out next uh, well, it's the 27th next week, it looks like. It'll be Monday the 27th after market close. So right now, it's not the time to be looking to enter into new positions on Apple. Just to refresh, it's one of those weeks where simply sit on the sidelines, feel comfortable, and it's a smart thing to do sitting on the sidelines, wait for earnings season to do, to run its course. And then we'll analyze the market, hopefully at a time when it's actually broken down. It's made that definitive move lower, which we have trades set up for on the queues 
on the SPYs and also on the diamonds, the DIAs, that these could still trigger late in the week and also have a look at some individual trade selection later in the week, if not in this week, in this week's coming pivot point pro analysis resource. That's the Tuesday afternoon market recap. It's more so just to say, look, if you're not very active or if you haven't been very active over the past two, three, maybe even four or five weeks, it's not your fault. Don't feel as though you're missing out on opportunity. I work with a lot of people. I listen to a lot of people um, and the, the, the current narrative coming in and the narrative which has been in place for really a month or so is that I'm getting whipsawed on trades or I can't find good trades to trade or these are positions which I entered into on a swing trade basis many weeks ago and this is the current position. I mean, these are the, these are the stories which I'm receiving of people outside of the pro list who are who are just getting whipsawed to death and the trades which they are entering into obviously aren't running the course which they intended when they obviously entered into the trade. So this is very common amongst market participants. The best position, in other words, is cash at the moment. It truly is until this market breaks out or it breaks down. Sit tight, be patient, be smart, be disciplined. It'll pay off for you when the market makes the definitive move. It can't stay range bound forever. And when it does make that move, we will be there to capitalize on it. So that will be Tuesday's market recap. Have a great Tuesday evening. If you have any questions whatsoever, please email me success at pivotpoint-training.com. I've also received a few emails in regards to the password change. Please email me if you're still having problems, but I think you know maybe 5% of the entire class emailed in, maybe less than that. It might have, might have even only been 3%. There are only really a couple of students, but I understand if people are still having problems, uh, please get in contact with me as well and I will sort that out for you immediately. Have a great Tuesday evening, everybody. I'll see you most likely for a Wednesday afternoon market recap. All the best. Goodbye.